This video describes the interactive histogram statlet, new in StatGraphic Centurion version 17. This new procedure creates a frequency histogram with interactive controls. Analysts may interactively change the number of classes, add a normal distribution to the plot, and add a non-parametric density estimate while dynamically changing the width of the smoothing window. I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet a file containing 100 measurements of the resistivity of electronic components. To create an interactive histogram for this column, I'll go to Statlets, Interactive Histogram. Resistivity contains the data I want to analyze, and when I press OK, an analysis window will open. Initially, the histogram is divided into 20 classes, ranging from 0 to 600. I can use this control to either reduce the number of classes or increase the number of classes. It's nice to be able to interactively change the classes until you find a number that works well for your data. I can add a normal distribution to the histogram with the same mean and standard deviation as the data by checking the box Add Normal Curve. You can probably see that in this case the normal distribution is not a particularly good model for resistivity. For this data it might be better to use a non-parametric density estimator. I'm going to uncheck Add Normal Curve and add instead a density estimate with a width of 60%. A non-parametric density estimator basically smooths the histogram. It moves a window along the resistivity axis. At each point where it needs to estimate the density, it uses a specified fraction of the nearest observations. The initial width is 60%, which gives an estimate not unlike the normal distribution. On the other hand, if I reduce the width, perhaps down to about 30%, you'll see that the density estimate much more closely models the skewness in this particular data set. The interactive histogram is a good way to get an initial view of the distribution of a column of numeric data. 